Happy New Year! And I'm uh, coming to you here from Doha on a stopover. Uh, Qatar Airways is an amazing airline where you can stop over in Doha, Qatar for free. Pretty much, you just take a multi-city booking and you can stay for free. You can stay in five-star hotels for $53 per night. There's like a whole bunch of five-star hotels. It's pretty amazing. And this is just a new area. They just built this. It's opening like next two or three months. This is a little uh, Venice. It look, it's called the Kanat, Kwanat, or something like that. I'm just saying some numbers. I don't know how they are built, organizing or anything, but it's gonna be something like uh, 50,000 Airbnbs, let's imagine, right? During the, um, during the World Cup. So people could be living in all these, a bunch of shops around. You can go for a swim if you want. Let's go look how it looks over there. There's gonna be some supermarkets, fruits, Let's go up here. So, uh, Qatar is uh, using their is oil, is gas, right? Mostly gas. And so it's a lot of money. And they're putting it all into building some kind of giant mega city here in, in the desert. And in the summer it gets pretty hot, but um, that's why they do, they want to have a lot of water everywhere. So this area here. And some new buildings. There's some giant O or something like that over there, which is probably going to be coming around uh, maybe before 2022. Seems to be a whole bunch of construction. There you see how it looks, the map, all these buildings everywhere, all over the area, like here. It's really impressive and um, I think as far as I understand the Pearl area has something like 50,000 potential uh, uh, inhabitants this area foreigners are welcome to buy apartments that's what I understand like it's um, one of the first area where foreigners can just come and live or I mean buy apartments I, I'm guessing it's not cheap I don't know but Airbnb is better and check it out and you see everything, all the, all the things are saying opening Q1, right? So, let's go around here. You see, it says uh, Quanat Quarter. Quanat, Pearl Quart Qatar. Here you can get a Swiss haircut, maybe, maybe not. Let's go down here. So I'm not sure if the World Cup is going to have 32 or 48 uh, countries qualifying. I don't know if they've decided that yet. It's going to be in the... Now it's in January, right? 1st of January. It's going to be similar kind of climates, but uh, I think as far as I remember, it's going to be October or November, the World Cup. Where should we go? There, there. Let's go this way. All these Airbnbs for the for the World Cup. Let's go around this corner here. So yeah, go, maybe I go for a swim. I'll just jump in and swim with the Qatari sharks if there are any. I don't think there are sharks, but maybe they can add them for the World Cup. They'll add some sharks. Let's go up here. Oh, you see the little boat? So there's an amazing subway in, in Doha right now. They just finished the subway. As far as I understand, the subway will be free during the World Cup. Uh, I, I expect they should have a whole bunch of self-driving uh, Tesla cyber trucks also. I'm just joking, but I don't know, why not? They should have all this ready. Choose your Airbnb. Maybe not just for the World Cup, but I recommend anybody going from Europe to Asia. I was just in Shenzhen. If you go to Asia, stop in Doha for free and try some of their five-star hotels for $53 per night. Uh, you can do that. If you, if you go for a four-star hotel, it's like $38 per night. And there's, there's like 
half a hundred of these there's all these luxurious hotels around here of course there's a little bit there's a strange feeling in the air because everything is so new and it's but it's so huge it goes all behind this is just like a small piece of the pearl they call it the pearl and I just spoke with the, uh, the uber driver he said uh, there's a whole new city right there it just built in the last two years just behind here it's called Lucille we need to go check out the Lucille and check out this new city with a whole bunch of huge buildings I don't know if the buildings have a bunch of companies inside or not um, I don't know maybe you should go in, inside and check hey. So let's check for the latest status on the Airbnbs around here. A bunch of Airbnbs. Oh, let's go over here. A different area. There's some cafes, some restaurants. Right down there. So this is like the road where cars go. So you have to be careful a little bit. But uh, it looks like it could be the end, the edge. Hi, hello. Just walking over here and uh, kind of uh, checking where the limit goes of this area. Just be careful a little bit about the traffic. Walking in the grass, I think it's allowed, I hope. Here you see the edge of that part. This water here, maybe. Um, it's just huge. This whole area is huge. Okay, now I'm just going in the in the in the sand. There's a there's a sea over there. So, hopefully, the Middle East will be in peace. All the countries will be. Um, doing good things for their their people i don't know how many people are actually qataris i think it's not very big population but there's a lot of foreign workers coming here basically to build all this hopefully to get uh, good salaries good uh, conditions good safety in the summer it's got to be hot to work but it's probably uh, much better than uh, the countries where they're coming from right uh, yesterday uh, we were doing the new year's eve party with the the nepali um, uh, party so there's a lot of Nepalis here 400,000 they told me and many other countries building all this stuff all right so that was it that was the World Cup and there's huge stadiums and uh, I haven't been even been seeing them but definitely want to come back to check out the stadiums a bunch of tournaments already happening in them all right so thanks for watching happy new year and uh, here's another 50,000 Airbnbs around here. It's the, the Pearl, uh, Pearl area in Doha. So you can see all these flats and all these luxury boats and stuff. These could uh, probably also be Airbnbs. Uh, you, on Airbnb, you can also find boats. Maybe you can find with the captain, it takes you out in the water. If you wanna go out and uh, sail uh, over there is Iran and uh, Saudi Arabia and stuff all around, but um, if you walk around here, see some restaurants. So for the World Cup 2022, all these will be poly Airbnbs, I'm guessing. Lots and lots of people can be staying here. And um, Lebanese food, uh, probably the best food in the world, Lebanese. Um, even better than Chinese food, probably. Some here. So it's, this area has a lot of foreigners. They come here probably because it's tax-free. So as far as I understand, you can stay here, you don't pay any tax. So that's maybe one of the reasons. If we go around here, let's check this area here. But um, of course, why would you want to stay in an Airbnb? when you can stay in a five-star hotel for $52, $53 per night. Um, at least while they have this promotion, it's called uh, Discover Qatar, 
where uh, with Qatar Airways they have a partnership, $53 flat fee per night, up to four nights maximum on a stopover. So you have to be flying over from Europe to Asia or Europe to Africa, uh, which is the perfect kind of thing. They, they also have a couple airports in the US, I think New York, maybe some other kind of thing that flies over to Doha. And then, so maybe you can fly that way around from the US possibly, but it's uh, mostly useful from Europe to Asia, this uh, connection. Uh, Qatar is often is the cheapest airline also. So you get the cheapest airline. Right now I'm on $500 to Hong Kong uh, from Copenhagen on a stopover. So very, very cheap return flight uh, with $53 per night, staying a five star. And you can, if, if you look, some of these, if you can zoom in, uh, some of these flats there uh, on Airbnb is probably $50 a night, something like that. Because all this is brand new. I'm just guessing here, but when you look at those flats over there, it's, they're just built in the last uh, couple of years. You know, it's, it's new stuff. There's a lot of uh, Majesty boats. Not totally sure who, who has them all, but a bunch of boats. Uh, so that's this area. I'd like to check out the stadiums, um, the football stadiums, but maybe I'll check those out next time back in Doha. And uh, hopefully, yeah, it's, um, it's not too hot in the summer. Right now in January, it's okay. It's actually winter, so it's fine. It feels like uh, Copenhagen in the summer a little bit kind of something like that. All right, thanks for watching and Happy New Year again. So we here at the Souk Wakif and uh, this is the main market uh, area, traditional style a bit, around here. Uh, it's, um, it's getting busy, it's the 1st of January, so there's some uh, music and party going on. Ooh, let me grab my order. Okay. Activity. Let's walk more. It's possible to buy peanuts and uh, you know uh, Qatar is giving a big thumbs up to the rest of the world right now big golden thumbs up you have the suit going this way let's go this way so of course all the way around here you have lots of Airbnbs everywhere but uh, again you don't really, I mean, you can't stay in Airbnb if you want to be in a, like the authentic experience of living like local. And, um, you know, as far as I understand, Qatar is like a free country. So, so women can, uh, you know, you don't have to wear anything on your head. You can wear what you want, but just don't walk around naked. I mean, it's the same thing everywhere, except in Copenhagen. Half the country is naked, but here, okay, let's go over there. Uh, 
Um, there's a lot of uh, kind of partying going on today. It's the first of um, first of January. Oh, I'm falling. Let's check this one first. some uh, some foods hey maybe some uh, small potato balls some balls and some uh, biryani a lot of different things okay let's go this way around here But uh, the, the, those concerts are amazing. Well, some uh, interesting pancakes happening right here. Wait. There. Some pancakes. And, uh, more traditional shopping kind of stuff with some uh, special kind of colors. And the uh, smelly things which you burn on the coal. Then you have some smelly smoke. Right, so again, thanks for watching.
but I think I'm gonna go out and uh, watch the concerts because that was a little bit awesome. So let's go to the concerts, but uh, happy new year.